From an early age, Larry Ayer was destined to become an artist and an illustrator. When he was just eight years old, Larry was accepted into his first gallery, and throughout the years, he's channeled his creative talents into countless portraits, caricatures, and paintings. But his most recent direction has him thinking outside the paint box and creating unique 3D sculptures and paintings made from objects that he's found at the beach. Larry, this is fantastic. Thank you for being here, and thank you for bringing your artwork with, uh, with you. Um, so I gotta ask you, you grew up uh, along the beach in East Lyme. Did you always want to be an artist? Was it something that came easy to you? It did. Um, always working at the beach. I was a lifeguard. I picked up wood and uh, shells and uh, beach combing kind of stuff too. So. And when did you realize this was something you really could pursue? Was there a moment? Well, you know, I was good in high school um, in art and uh, drafting and it um, came easy to me. So. Uh, you started, gave it a shot. <laughs> started early and kept with it. Um, talk to me a little bit about how your work evolves, because I see water colors and colors uh, and you know different different artwork here. Yeah, I started out traditional. I went to art school, Art Institute of Boston, and uh, you know painted from an early age and mm -hmm. kept with it. And uh, always with the beach theme. No, no, I've I've done pretty much all kinds of portraits and you know all kinds of art mm -hmm. so um, so then we came up with this the idea of fish sticks talk to me about this well um, it, it's kind of driftwood and shells combined um, I first do a, a preliminary drawing and um, I cut it out and uh, build it up from there it's uh, your it's a process. Because if you look at the back, you could kind of see it does start with yeah, the plywood, it, right? It does start with the plywood. And uh, I have a lot of driftwood. The hurricanes were very good to me. And uh, I collected a lot of uh, wood to to build things with. So. And how, to, how long does it take to create uh, a fish stick here? Each one takes a little, you know, each one has its own time frame. The, the, the bigger paintings really take, uh, those can take months, sure. actually. How did you move into the sculptures then? Well, I, was, I missed painting, you know, so um, I, I was still doing watercolors, you know, I mix it up, but I really missed painting, so I went to the acrylic and uh, driftwood combination. So I've done, I think, five or six pieces, like the actual, I call them three-dimensional pieces. Yeah, well, they are. Uh, and they have creative names. Talk to me about that. Well, I, you know, while I'm working on each piece, I, I try to come up with a name that, that fits it. If you see the drawings here, this is of the turtle. So I, oh, I, that's I, the initial phase, right? That's yes, the idea. That's the idea phase. I, I write different names. It could turn out to be any name, <laughs> you know, that I like on there. So this one's called Breach of Peace, and uh, that's the Matrix Mob, which uh, has baby turtles and the mother turtle. Yeah, let's talk the, about some of the, the, uh, the items you've used to create this. Well, again, it's, it's driftwood. I, I got this, those particular shells were from Florida. Mm -hmm. I had to order those because I wanted them to be orange. I get it. And uh, <laughs> I order the eyes uh, from a taxidermy place and uh, the rest is, is uh, what I find on the beach and, and paint, <laughs> you know. It's great. I had to put them on panels because they are heavy. So, right. you know, they, they had to hold up. But you could hang this on the wall. Absolutely. They, they all hang, except, you know, that would be okay, a tabletop right. sculpture. And they're all for sale. Where can we see your work? Um, I'm at Fresh Air Gallery in Old Lyme um, at, the, at this time. And there's quite a few pieces there. Okay. And, and your website? My website is airartwork.com, A-Y-E-R, artwork.com. Very good. Well, Larry, thanks for bringing all these masterpieces here today. It's pretty cool to look at. And uh, we'll check out your website. Of course, we'll link it up from ours. So, again, thanks for being here. Great.